Hello friends, welcome once again to Mathematics Olympia class. Uh, we go quickly to our last exercise, and the first question is: If five raised to power x plus one equals one hundred, find the value of five raised to power two x. So the first thing we do here is to simplify 5 raised to the power x plus 1 using the law of exponents. Now with that x plus 1 as the exponent there, we can split it to 5 raised to the power x times 5 raised to the power 1. If you simplify 5 raised to the power x times 5 raised to the power 1 using the law of exponents, it will give us 5 raised to the power x plus 1. So we are using 5 raised to power x times 5 raised to power 1 now equals 100. So it then follows that we can divide both sides by 5 with the same thing as 5 raised to power 1. So we divide both sides or divide through by 5. We have 5 raised to the power x times 5 raised to the power 1 all divided by 5 equals 100 divided by 5. The 5 down we cancel the 5 raised to the power 1. So we have 5 raised to the power x left. So we now have 5 raised to the power x equals 20. That is we got the 20 from 100 divided by 5. So we have 5 raised to the power x equals 20. So what we then have now is 5 raised to the power x equals 20 which we can square both sides in order to have 5 raised to the power 2x. So if we square both sides, we have 5 raised to the power x into bracket squared equals 20 squared. Now, since we have squared both sides, if you square 20 or you, you multiply 22 times, that's 20 times 20, we get 400. So we now have 5 raised to the power x into bracket squared equals 400. So from here, we can rewrite 5 raised to the power x squared by bringing in, multiplying x, the exponent x and exponent 2 together. So if we multiply exponent x and exponent 2 together, we get 2x. So we now have 5 raised to the power 2x instead of 5 raised to the power x squared. We now have 5 raised to the power 2x equals 400. And that will be the answer for this particular question, which means 5 raised to the power 2x equals 400. The second question goes thus, if P and Q are the roots of x squared minus 7x minus 3, 
what is the value of p squared minus 7p plus q squared minus 7q? What we're going to do here is um, to collect the like times. By collecting the like times, we mean those ones that have the same exponent together. So we have p squared plus q squared because they have squared as their exponent. Then minus 7p minus 7q. They have 1 as their exponent. So now we have p squared plus q squared. If we put factor out the 7 and the bit, uh, 7 with 7p and 7q factor out the 7 because they have 7 as common so we have minus 7 into bracket p plus q close bracket we change the minus z to plus because of that bracket so that if you open the bracket you can just use minus times plus it will give us the minus back so that is why the minus changes to plus because of that bracket because if you expand again the minus will multiply the plus and then it will change to minus again so we have p squared plus q squared minus 7 to bracket p plus q close the bracket So from here, since uh, from x square identity x square plus y square, we give us x plus y into bracket squared minus 2x plus y. That is whenever we have identity like x square plus y squared, it will give us x plus y into bracket squared minus 2xy which means we can use the identity here to simplify p squared plus q squared so if you simplify p squared plus q squared it will give us p plus q into bracket squared minus 2pq So we, we from here it then follows that we can plug in p plus q squared minus 2pq as p squared plus q squared. So if we plug in that we have where we have p squared plus q squared we replace it with p plus q squared minus 2pq then minus 7 into bracket p plus q what we now have here is since from x squared minus 7 x minus 3 p plus q that is the root of equation if you take the two of them you add them the sum of the root of equation rather p plus q is minus into bracket minus 7 minus times minus will give us plus so it will give us plus 7 which means p plus q is plus 7 and then the root of equation again p and q that is p times q is the minus 3 that is the constant is the p q minus 3 that is when you multiply the root of equation together it will give you the constant when you add the root of the equation together it will give you the coefficient of x 
so that is what we just did here So what we now have here is we plug in the values so p plus q into bracket squared minus 2 pq minus 7 to bracket p plus q if you plug in p plus q p plus q is my is plus 7 that's 7 if you put 7 there where we see p plus q then it will now have 7 squared because p plus q is 7 squared so we have 7 squared the minus 2 pq pq that is p times q is minus 3 plug in minus 3 as p times q so we have minus 2 into bracket minus 3 then minus 7 then p plus q again is 7 again we we'll, we'll plug in that again so we now have 7 squared is 49 the minus times minus is plus 2 times 3 is 6 the minus 7 times plus 7 is minus 49. Then, if you solve it further, plus 49 minus 49 will cancel out. It will remain plus 6. So, we have 6 as the final answer for this particular question. So for our next next exercise, we have square root of 10 raised to power square root of x minus square root of 3 raised to power square root of x equals 91. Find the value of x. That's question 1. For question 2, we have how many triangles do we have in the shape below? So till we meet next class, don't forget to subscribe. For more of these videos, share the video with your friends, click the notification button so that you can get notified and then like the video until we meet next class. Thank you.